Hello, it's Anger Photographer here. I wanted to clear up some things that uh, if you have an Alien Bees or an Einstein unit by Paul C. Buff or uh, even uh, any other uh, studio strobes, uh, some reflectors that you should uh, consider getting. Now, it's a specific reference to Einstein and the Alien Bees is uh, one of uh, three different reflector dishes. I currently have on the unit the uh, 7UR umbrella reflector that fits around the flash tube. It's a modeling lamp for the front of the faceplate and uh, right through here we'll insert our umbrella and what this does over simply sticking an umbrella which you can use with the unit as is without this uh, this uh, dish reflector this umbrella reflector is that uh, you're able to decrease your power therefore you have faster recycle time and also really important if you have a tight proximal uh, strobe uh, to your subject that you've eliminated the spillover light actually leaving them here if you've got an umbrella no matter how close you've got it adjusted to your studio strobe, a spillover can cause some serious issues in the, uh, the visual composition of your photograph. So actually having one of these 7UR umbrella reflectors um, by Paul C. Buff, I think they're like $20, is uh, necessary. Uh, the first, the uh, most important reflector dish to have is right here. Now this is a 45 degree angle dish by Paul C. Buff, it is the uh, 8.5 HOR, it's a high output reflector with uh, 45 degrees narrow beam. Inside is a modeled surface like this. And this beats out and is recommended uh, over the 7 inch uh, 80 degree coverage wide angle dish reflector. Now another one that people usually don't buy but they really should and this is probably the neatest one and it's only 30 bucks, that's only twice as much but here you can see the smooth surface that we have here rather a large honker. This is the 11 uh, LTR, it's 11 inch uh, long throw reflector by uh, Paul C. Buff. Uh, it's 28 inch, uh, 28 degrees of uh, beam coverage. Uh, use this by itself, obviously there is no umbrella hole on the front of this. This is for your Alien Bees, your Einstein. This is super awesome for doing uh, long throw shots, like if uh, it's raining outdoors and you want to actually capture uh, put the, your Einstein, your Alien Bees underneath a roof or something and uh, take some shots outdoors you can actually freeze freeze the uh, freeze the rain droplets uh, do some uh, long throw sports photography where you don't have the compositional capacity to get your strobe in really close in on the shot say you're taking a 35 millimeter shot or a 24 millimeter shot and uh, even at max power, you uh, need some fill flash, uh, even at uh, 640 watt seconds. And you can't crank it out, you can't crank it out tight enough. Obviously, you cannot do it with this. Then you should have the 11 inch long throw tight confinement dish by Paul C. Buff for your Alien Bees or your Einstein. These would be the three reflectors I would consider as uh, mandatory must haves. Uh, definitely, like I said, going over again the uh, umbrella reflector. You're able to reduce the power output. Don't have any issues with light spillover. And the 11 and a half, I mean the 8 and a half inch with 45 degree coverage. And the uh, 11 inch long throw reflector. These are your three reflectors. Now the total on these would be, see, 30, 40, 50, 60, 50, 70 bucks plus shipping. Basically for all three. And, uh... Obviously, we got a pair of studio strobes and recommend getting a pair of uh, eight and a half inch for your studio. But if you're going to do any outdoor photography at all or any wide angle shots, then uh, actually having the 11 and a half inch uh, long throw so you can get your strobe out of the way of the composition that you're shot and you can uh, crank out the light at your subjects at the distance, then that's the answer. So you should. Uh, oops. You should get the 11 and a half inch. Bang those together there. Um, this is another video from Nanga Photographer. If you like this video, you could always uh, drop a donation or tell me to jump off a cliff. But uh, just trying to be helpful. And uh, I'm a little worn out from creating so many videos in the past few days. So I'm only going to make two or three today. Uh, not like I'm under a deadline, but uh, you know, make quality and quality content. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Catch you later. Bye.